Hi, thanks for clicking my video. Today I want to do a speed comparison between different Arduino solutions and one is the ESP32, an Arduino Nano and also a Mega2560. And for better comparison I use the same Arduino code on all CPUs and this means for the ESP32 there's no core or dual core optimization so it don't reach the real speed of the ESP32 but for in comparison I think and this is not a scientific comparison so for my comparison this is okay and I use some um, mathematical functions and integer operations to compare the speed of the CPUs. And last but not least, I also do a fast Fourier transformation. So this is what we can expect if we do some advanced stuff. And this is the setup, the ESP32 with an UART converter, the CP2102 and also a voltage regulator. And we have also the Arduino Mega 25 60 with the Mega 2560 CPU and also a CH341 UART converter and some voltage regulating stuff on the board. And last but not least we have the Arduino Mega with the Mega 328P CPU and on the back side we have also a CH341 UART converter and also a voltage regulator. So this is the sketch I use and the difference between the three platforms are only the speed of the serial interface and the interface are just for the nano are reduced to 9600 baud. But this is not dependent on the measurement because the serial speed is outside the measurement. And then in the loop function I do the measurement and delay between some measurements one second and we can see the measurement function just call the different call the different calculations with different iteration steps and this is for integer addition division from integer then the computing of the square root the sinus function and the power function and also fast Fourier transformation and then we print out depending on the CPU just the total time that is needed for the measurements and that's it. So, so I prepare the measurements and just set up three Arduino IDEs for the three CPUs. And this one is for the ESP32 on USB 0. This is for the Mega 2560 on USB 1. And this is for the Nano on USB 2. So we can see this. So just we upload the sketch to the different platforms in parallel. So now we can also compare the size of the code. So the size of the ESP32 code is 140 kilobytes. And this takes in account that also the free Artos operation system is compiled here. And for the at mega chips, we just have a code size of 11 kilobytes. So this is nearly the same for the other two. So now let's start the serial monitor on USB 0 for the ESP32. The serial monitor on USB 1 for the Atmega2560. And on the USB number 2 we have the Arduino Nano. So we see the ESP32 just have iterate between all measurements a few times and all the other two are just calculating. Now we are on integer divisions so this takes on the ESP32 just a few milliseconds and here we have just 34 or here 33 seconds. Now we are on the square root and the ESP32 just takes two seconds for doing this and here we have about 17 seconds. So the second double square root 
calculation. Maybe nearly also 17 seconds here on the 2560 and on the nano also 70 and a little bit more. So, but I think the fast Fourier transformation is the longest time we need on the other platforms. Here is just 3.5 seconds for the fast Fourier transformation. And on the other, and compare the sinus function, here we have one second roundabout, and here we have 13 seconds on the, or 12.8 seconds. So we have more than 10 times more on the other platforms for calculation. So we're just waiting for the fast Fourier transformation, but as we see, it takes very long. So we are waiting and waiting and waiting. So we can compare the others. Here for 1 million additions of integer, we just takes no milliseconds, but this takes also the aggressive loop optimization in account. So the compiler very aggressive optimize the looping of some integer additions. So now we are ready for the fast Fourier transformation and we take 77 seconds for this and here 75 seconds. So in total we have 10 seconds roundabout on the ESP32, 173 seconds on the Atmega 2560 and 170 seconds on the Arduino Nano. So on this speed comparison, the ESP32 is definitely the winner of the comparison and we only use one core. So maybe for some calculations, you can double the speed of the ESP32. If you're not doing Arduino, maybe you want pure ESP32 stuff. So I recommend using the ESP IDF framework. So thanks for clicking my video today and I hope you find this interesting or enjoy the video and maybe learn something. So thanks for watching today. Give me some comments or thumbs up and see you next time. Bye bye.